Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up a Crypto.com account. So let's get going. All right, so I'm on the homepage for Crypto.com. Uh, it's a place to buy, sell, and spend cryptocurrency. And uh, they have a phone app, and it looks like they also have actual cards uh, that you can link to this account and use uh, for payment uh, just about anywhere, really. Um, and then, uh, you know, they've got some other perks there and everything else. Um, you know, payment is, uh, so here we are with uh, a cryptocurrency uh, wallet, or at least it could be custodial, it could be non-custodial, we'll check it out, but it's a place where you can uh, buy crypto, store crypto, and spend crypto. So this is kind of the, the newest thing, the adoption thing. Um, we're gonna see how this card works. The good people at crypto.com contacted me about uh, doing some videos so uh, I'm gonna check it out and walk through everything with you guys and uh, we'll point out the the pros and cons as we go along so the first thing I'll do is go ahead and download the app and see how that goes I'm assuming you'll need to uh, you know get it set up on your phone and link your uh, ATM card and all that stuff so let's uh, check that out I've got my phone ready here so uh, I'm just going to choose a scan app that I've got here and uh, let's see how that goes here. All right, I'm going to scan their little QR code and it should take me over to their uh, app on the app store. So I'm going to let me uh, let's reduce some clutter here. All right, let's uh, go ahead and get the app. So far, so good. Let's see how this goes. All right, so uh, I don't think I got a referral code, so I'm just gonna do the sign up. All right, so I'm gonna tap the sign up uh, button there. Hmm, interesting. Um, they're all, uh, mentioning that you could sign up for uh, Netflix or Spotify. Uh, use your crypto.com card to pay for those and they'll reimburse you. That sounds intriguing. Uh, you know, they must, they have partnerships with these two, looks like. That's pretty cool. Um, all right. Uh, best place to buy, sell, and pay with crypto. Forget the banks. Let's go. All right. Let's check it out. All right. So they want my email address. So we'll uh, use my crypto dad. All right. So, um, check your email for a confirmation link to continue so I'm gonna do that Take this oh, okay Not really sure okay so let's take a go okay there now we're gonna go back to the app which is what I would expect so I like this that they're taking it back taking me back to the app a lot of services will, when you get a confirmation email, you, you opens in your browser and you're not connected to the app anymore. So it looks like, you know, they've integrated this nicely. I like that. All right, it wants my phone number. All right. All right, that's confirmation that I am who I say I am to a certain extent. All right, I'll go ahead and receive offers from them. All right, so it looks like they're going to need uh, KYC. Uh, this is very common nowadays uh, when you're dealing with uh, cryptocurrency accounts where, you know, it's linking you to a card that you can use to pay. Um, not the true spirit of cryptocurrency, but, uh, you know, if we're going to be spending our cryptocurrency uh, and linking it to Visa and that sort of thing, uh, we are going to have to uh, do the KYC. Um, because we need to interface with the current system, right? And the current system uh, of banking and credit cards and merchant accounts and all of that other stuff uh, requires KYC. So I'm going to bite the bullet and do the KYC. Uh, so I'll walk you through that. Know your customer. That's KYC. Know your customer. 
basically just means you need to verify your identity in order to use these services. So we're going to go for that. We'll do continue. All right, they want my name, <laughs> my full legal name. All right, uh, as shown on my ID. Okay, fine. I get it. All right, they want the camera access. Uh, okay, so uh, they're going to allow me to take a picture of my driver's license. Uh, some services will allow you to upload from your computer, but it looks like we're going to be able to do this all from our phone. So I'm going to get my ID out, and I'm going to lay it over here on my counter so that I can uh, go through this. Hopefully, I've been through this process for many different accounts, and sometimes it gets a little bit hairy. So uh, hopefully this will be a smooth process, right? So I'm going to choose driver's license. It wants me to scan it, all right? All right, so it sees that. Uh, it looks like it's readable. Uh, I can, it seems readable to me. Not blurred. Okay, that looks good. I'm going to hit readable. Now I'm assuming they want the back, of course. There must be some information on the back that's okay. It looked like they like that. All right, and then they're going to want my face, right? And it looks like I need to get just the face and not the hairdo, right? Uh, and the bottom of my chin, just above the, and you know, the bottom should be the chin, the top should be just above my hairline. So I'm going to do that. Aha, I got it. All right. That's good stuff. Okay. So uh, this uh, could take a while. It could take a few minutes. It could take a little while, a couple hours. I don't know, even a day, uh, depending. So I'm just going to do the tap to continue. Uh, they'll notify me once the verification is complete in two to three business days. All right, so that's where it stands at this point. I'll pick up the video uh, once I've got that uh, confirmation. All right, well, that was quick. Okay, <laughs> said two to three business days. It looks like they got me already. Uh, I got an alert uh, from Crypto.com uh, that the verification was complete and that I can enjoy all the features. And then I got an email from them. Thank you for opening the account. Uh, all right, so let's check the email and see what they're telling me. Uh, I can reserve my card if I want. Um, and always buy crypto with the Crypto.com wallet and card app. Uh, our multi-exchange trading platform offers you the lowest possible prices. We'll see how that goes. Uh, join the community via Telegram and or Discord. So it looks pretty cool. So let's go back into the app. Uh, I'm going to hit this alert here. We'll take this back into the app. It says I'm okay. Verification has been approved. All right. It wants me to set a passcode, which I will do. And let me tap anywhere to confirm. Now what I like to do is set up face ID on these. Um, so we'll see. So I'm in the U.S. I'm going to choose uh, U.S. dollars. We'll confirm that. All right. Tap anywhere to continue. We'll do that. All right. Uh, let's do the bank transfer thing because I can enter the pin. That's fine. Let's start that. All right. So I'll tap U.S. dollars. We'll hit next. All right, I understand all of this. Uh, easily fund your crypto.com account via US uh, dollar bank transfer. Transfer up to 5,000 a day. Purchase crypto with your balance instantly. Add funds to your MCO Visa card. All right, so let's hit that. Let's get started. All right, we're pretty close. Uh, let's see, just need a few easy steps to verify your identity. Okay, so they're gonna want my address and my SS number. You know, this is KYC, gang. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I've done lots of videos on uh, how to buy and store crypto uh, in the true sense of controlling your old wallet. But we're in a, you know, we're in a transitional phase with crypto here where we're dealing with spending it in the real world. And, you know, the real world is such that you it requires KYC. So we're bridging the gap between the two worlds here. Let's see how it goes. All right, let's hit get started. You guys might have uh, bailed at this point, but I'm going to go through it. 
Bank transfer account is now ready. All right, so they're going to allow me to connect my bank account at this point, right? They haven't asked me about um, the bank itself, right? So uh, that may be the next uh, step that we have to take. But before I do that, I'm going to check to see if they support Face ID. This is very important for me. All right. Uh, probably, here we go. Enable Face ID, Touch ID. So I'm going to enable that. They want my PIN code. And okay, so now it looks like when I log in and when I do transfers and whatnot that require the verification of the, the PIN, they will uh, allow me to use Face ID, which makes life a lot simpler. All right. So let's go back here. All right. So, um, hmm. Connect bank account, right? I want to. I'm not going to apply for that at the moment. Um, all right. And as uh, I can see now, they haven't asked me to back up the wallet, uh, the crypto wallet. So I'm assuming that is a custodial wallet. If I transfer Bitcoin or Litecoin into this wallet, they're. Uh, holding it for me, right? I don't control the private keys to this. All right, so let's see. I'm going to just tap deposit and see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to tell them I want to deposit US dollar. Okay, so uh, it looks like they've got some information there for their bank. I was a little confused. So let's see if I buy, let's see if I want to buy crypto. Let's say I want to buy Bitcoin. Ah, okay, see, there, there, that's where I can add the, the debit card, right? So let's do that. All right, and uh, I can do it this way. Okay, so here we go, Chase is verifying. And this may or may not go through. Uh, sometimes you're required to sort of call your bank and tell them what you're doing especially when you're dealing with foreign companies and I know that uh, these guys are based out of Hong Kong so let's see if this goes through uh, it looks like it did all right all right so I can't figure out how to connect my bank account proper so let's go ahead and uh, we'll buy some crypto using my debit card I'll buy a little uh, Bitcoin actually I can buy Binance coin I kinda like that I wanna buy Binance coin with my debit card. I'm not going to buy 10. <laughs> uh, let's buy two. No, let's buy three. All right, so I'll go ahead and buy three BNB. That's about 100 bucks. And so I'll hit uh, buy BNB. And I'm going to get that 3.5% fee, uh, which I'm assuming is $3.50 on my $100 purchase. So not great but not horrible right 350 on 100 that's not good at all actually not too crazy about that but that's okay I'm gonna do it just for the sake of argument and see how well things go we'll hit continue all right so yeah it's gonna be an extra three bucks on top of that 99 I'll hit confirm uh, wants to use my face ID right I like that looking good we're gonna go through this whole verification process okay so there we go well, I'm gonna have to call my bank we apologize for the inconvenience uh, I kinda had a feeling this was gonna happen uh, your attempting requires additional verification we apologize um, okay so they want me to call this number uh, I'm just gonna jot that number down real quick in case it goes away so we'll go ahead and hit continue here. As I mentioned, I figured this was probably going to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay, so didn't work. All right, did not work. All right, so I'll uh, I'll check into that. I'll call my bank and see what's going on. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, let's go ahead and deposit some crypto in here. That I should be able to pull off. All right, I'll hit deposit. 
and I'll choose uh, Bitcoin. All right, there's the deposit address, right? So what I'm going to do is I've got a wallet with some Bitcoin in it, so I'll do a deposit. All right, so I've entered my PIN and I'm in the uh, the Bitcoin app is uh, active, right? So I'm just going to hit both buttons to enter the Bitcoin app. Uh, so my device is ready. So now we can uh, go to the phone. Uh, we've copied the address into our clipboard. Let's uh, z switch over here to our uh, Ledger Live. Let's see. We'll go into the Bitcoin account. And I'm going to do a send. And they, I can't really scan the QR code because uh, they're both phone apps. So I'm just going to paste in the Bitcoin address of crypto.com. So we'll hit continue. Now they want to know how much I'm going to send, so I'll send 0 .001. Uh, no, we'll send 05, which is forty-three dollars and ninety-five cents. So I'm going to hit continue and uh, confirm everything. I'll hit continue again. Now uh, it wants me to confirm on the ledger. I'm going to tap Ledger X. All right, and it's connected to my ledger. All right, and uh, at this point, my ledger is asking me to review the transaction. All right, so I want you to be able to see this. All right, so I'm going to review the transaction, uh, the amount, uh, the address, uh, the fees, and I hit accept. All right. Uh, looks like I got one more there. All right, there it goes. Looks good. All right, let's hit the, let's review this. We'll accept and send. And there we go. All right, so the transaction was sent from my Ledger Live. Uh, let's go back and check it out here. All right, so here we go. That was my Ledger Live app telling me that I sent the transaction. So let's go back over here to mycrypto.com. We'll hit, uh, we'll just close that out. And we're going to wait for the cryptocurrency to appear in my account. All right, so uh, we walked through the setup. We uh, connected our debit card. Uh, I was unable to purchase from my debit card because I'm gonna have to call my bank and verify them. And uh, I'm assuming that once I do that, I should be able to use uh, my debit card. Uh, also, uh, I haven't figured out a way to connect my bank account proper to this card or this wallet so that I can just fund directly from my bank account which I'm assuming will be a little bit cheaper so we'll work from there and but I I am able to deposit crypto in here now keep in mind you don't want to store all your crypto in this wallet for a couple reasons one it's it's a day-to-day a -day wallet that you're carrying around it's a use case wallet right so we don't carry around our full bank account balance in our back pocket uh, you know, in real life, you know, we maybe take a few hundred bucks out of our ATM card, so we have some working cash, right? Uh, so that would be the same rule on this one. We don't want to put all our crypto in this wallet to carry around with us. Another reason we don't want to put all our crypto in this wallet uh, is because it's not really designed to be a long-term cryptocurrency storage wallet. And then the last wallet, or the last reason, which is the big reason, is that it's not a, it is a custodial wallet. It's not a, uh, a non-custodial wallet. A non-custodial wallet is a wallet where you control the private keys. And I don't see any, uh, they didn't ask me to back this up. So I'm assuming that the private, I do not control the private keys of this wallet. It's similar to a Coinbase account or a Bittrex account or a Binance exchange account, right? You're storing your crypto there, it is your crypto, but you don't control the private keys, right? It's not really your own wallet. There are some phone wallets that are non-custodial, like the Trust wallet, but this is not one of them, all right? You don't wanna store all of your crypto in this wallet, it's just some working capital, right? And uh, as I move forward, I'll uh, try this card out in the, the real world and maybe I'll film myself doing it and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably get some weird looks from cashiers and whatnot. 
Uh, but uh, but we got through the setup, and uh, so far so good. Uh, a little snag with the using my debit card. You may not uh, run into this with your own debit card. All right, so I just got an alert that uh, the, the deposit is pending. Uh, they've received the deposit, but it hasn't been fully verified on the blockchain yet. Uh, and they'll alert me when uh, it verifies. So that's pretty good. I mean, it only took a couple of minutes. I actually had shut down the video and was going to come back to it. And then before I could get going on anything else, I got the alert. So uh, let's go uh, into the app. I'll tap the alert for the app. And, uh, of course, it doesn't show up in my balance yet. So let's go to home and see if there's any ways to sort of check this. Let's check the wallet here. Let's go, let's go to the wallet and let's check Bitcoin and see if there's like a pending. Ah, see there. Now, when I go into the Bitcoin wallet, uh, it says at the bottom there that I have a pending deposit. Uh, and so that's really good. I mean, it, it got there and it shouldn't take too long to verify. I think a lot of times when you're dealing with things like this uh, and you send crypto from one place to another, it takes a while for it to actually even appear in the opposite wallet. So this wallet, it only took, uh, you know, just a couple of minutes. All right. So I'll hang loose until it does its full verification. And we'll time that out. I believe I got this like right around 10 a.m. my time. So let's see how long it takes to actually verify. And then it'll show up in the account totally. Okay, so I just got an alert from them that the deposit had been uh, confirmed. All right, so uh, let's look over here on the email. And they're telling me that the deposit was successful. And uh, let's tap this uh, little thing here and see where it takes us. <laughs> it's there. And should want to open the app. Good. That's what I like. All right. So I don't see... Uh, let's, let's check the wallet. It's still showing a zero balance. Let's go to Bitcoin. Uh, it still says, uh, oh, it says confirmed now. Okay. But I don't see a balance here. All right. So it says that I have the Bitcoin in the wallet. But it's not showing up in the uh, BTC balance yet. So uh, I'm not sure how long that's going to take kind of interesting hmm. so it might take a few more minutes for the uh, balance to adjust let's try that all right so uh, I'm just like refreshing a little bit to see but it happened a few minutes ago so I would have assumed that it should have already ah there it goes all right so finally we've got the money uh, in the account it took an hour it took an hour to totally confirm on the blockchain and or in their servers or whatever uh, needed to happen for it to confirm. So one hour for confirmation. But it only took a minute or two for the uh, funds to show that they had arrived. And that really is the, that's the crux, right? When you make a deposit uh, to a Bitcoin wallet, uh, from uh, a different wallet. In my case, I went from my ledger to the crypto.com wallet. Uh, you want to know that the money has arrived. As soon as you see a, de a pending deposit, then you know that the, your transaction was successful, right? Your transfer was successful. So a lot of us get impatient. We want it to confirm and everything else. But just seeing that it's uh, pending is uh, really half you know 90 percent of the battle right once you see it that it's uh pending you know you made it correctly that the address was correct that you know it went to the right place and all that good stuff so here we are we got the money in our account we can begin to trade crypto now because we funded the account with bitcoin at this point now i also called my bank and let them know that i had a pending transaction that got denied and they told me to wait five or ten minutes and try again and uh, it should go through. Uh, and then I asked her if I continue to use this wallet for purchases, uh, 
are they going to be okay in the future? And she said the answer should be yes, but there is a small chance that I will need to call the bank each time I do a fund from debit uh, because it's an international company. She was just being honest. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things go, right? So why don't we go back and try it one more time? It's been uh, a little bit. So uh, what we're going to do is a buy. And I told you guys I was going to do a Binance coin. So let's buy three Binance coins, right? The original uh, purchase. We'll use that same debit card. We'll hit buy. And, uh, okay. Okay. I guess the price of Bitcoin has been going up since I did that. Slightly less than it was before. Or Bitcoin went down. I don't know. Whatever. Or BNB, pardon me. All right, let's see if it uh, purchase uh, gets uh, processed properly now. All right, so here we go. Through the verification process. Not sure what that flashing is all about. It's concerning, disconcerting, whatever you want to say. Well, let's see what happens. It might, I, might have, I may have jumped the gun. I may have done this a little too early because I uh, got off the phone with her not too long ago. So let's see what happens. There! We did it! Okay. So we purchased our three BNB uh, using my debit card through Crypto.com. All right. And then they just confirmed. And you purchase 303, you can log in. Okay, we should, it should be in there, right? So we can tap anywhere. And as you can see, my total balance has adjusted uh, to include the Binance coin and the Bitcoin, right? And you can see in the list there that I've got three Binance coin and 0 0.005 Bitcoin in this wallet. And so we can begin to trade. So uh, we'll look into that a little more. I know the video is kind of uh, getting a little long. I don't want to do too much in one video. So I'll go ahead and wrap it up. And I'll continue to post videos on how you use crypto.com. I must point out here that I do get a lot of offers from people uh, that have uh, different types of business plans and schemes and, and whatnot. And most of them I ignore. I did have another company that had a similar type of credit card, credit slash crypto card. Uh, I downloaded their wallet and was not impressed and, did, and never did the video. So I don't want you to think that I just willy nilly do videos from people that approach me. Uh, I turned down a lot of uh, videos. And so, uh, you know, yes, we're going to go into uh, sort of a partnership. But only because I've tried it out and it seems to work okay. Uh, fees are a bit high, you know, and, uh, but the interface was smooth. I was able to get through the uh, KYC without too much problems. I had another company uh, that I tried to do KYC and it failed miserably and I didn't uh, do the video for them. Uh, so I just want you guys to know I'm not trying to steer you wrong. And I'm not saying you should rush out and use this card. I just want you to know that I don't do reviews of products that I don't think are worthy. Fair enough. <laughs> anyway, uh, don't forget I have the live stream every Friday night, 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Throw out any questions that you may have, and I'll do my best to get them answered. And if you need extra crypto help, uh, you're crypto challenged, and uh, you need uh, some uh, Q&A therapy or some one-on-one -on -one with me, go check out my Patreon page. Those services are all available to uh, my patrons. So I would appreciate it if you're in the, you know, if you need a little help, uh, check that out. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.